What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're gonna be comparing an inexpensive gaming headset to one that's a lot more premium. But before we start today's video, I know a lot of you ask me where I get the music playing in my videos from, and I gotta give a huge shout out to Audioblocks for providing the music and sponsoring today's video. And right now they've got this cool creator to creator initiative. So if any of you guys are creators out there, this is where you can go to get some dope tracks to put into any of your own projects. So all the music I use to make this video, came from these guys. And they've got a library of over 100,000 tracks, so there's a lot to choose from. So if you guys are interested, be sure to check the link down below in the description. Uh, you can sign up for a free seven day trial and get to using some of those tracks right now. But now, let's get back to these headsets. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And today, we're gonna be checking out the Logitech G430 gaming headset. Now, this is a pretty inexpensive gaming headset. You can get it for around 35 bucks. So today, we're gonna see how it holds up against a more expensive gaming headset, something that's about $200 more. But first, let's check out what's actually in the box. Let's take a look. So we've got the gaming headset. And honestly, that's, that's all you really get. You get the gaming headset and uh, this little adapter or dongle. So this is pretty much it, not much to the packaging. And like I said, you do have a dongle, so you can connect the headphone and mic uh, inputs right into this and into your computer. But first impressions on like how this thing feels, it's pretty lightweight. Um, the construction seems decent. These are made completely out of plastic. So if you happen to give this a good sit by accident, it could crack them. They've got these cloth, uh, ear cushions, they don't feel that comfortable in the hand, they don't feel very soft, but let's let's see, let's give it a shot. Okay. I mean, it's not bad, it's an over-ear design, it doesn't really press on the ears whatsoever, it covers the entire ear, but this isn't soft. So, for long listening sessions, it might not be the greatest, but um, It'll get the job done. This is 35 bucks, so you can't really knock it too much. It still has cool features like virtual 7.1 surround sound. Uh, it has the adjustable mic over here on the side. You can move this around, fold it. So you know, you, you've got everything that you kind of want in a gaming headset, but at a $35 price range. Now, what we're gonna do is compare it to something that's 200 bucks more. And their opponent for today are the SteelSeries Siberia 800 wireless gaming headset. At a higher price range, you get more features like wireless capabilities, along with some other stuff. So this is what we've got over here. Now, I know you guys are probably gonna say, oh, gaming headsets suck. You should use some open back headphones. That's the best experience you'll get for gaming. But we're gonna be going with consumer grade gaming headsets, since these are what people are more likely gonna pick up. But I'm kind of curious to see what the comfort difference is since we just tried these out. Uh, these have these soft leatherette uh, ear cushions. So let's kind of see how this feels in comparison. Okay, so immediately the ear cushions are much softer on these, but there is a difference because these ear cups actually, I can feel them on my ears a little bit. So that will definitely have an impact over long listening sessions. Also, this gaming headset is just like straight up heavier. Because it's wireless and it has a bunch of other features built into the headset itself, it of course is gonna weigh a bit more than these. I think in terms of comfort, I'll give it to the Logitechs. That's pretty surprising. Now I'm gonna be hooking these up to my gaming PC so I can give this a full test run, uh, see which one sounds better. Also, we gotta test out that mic quality. This has a mic and this one also has a mic that comes out right here. But Let's play some games. All right, guys, so I threw on some Titanfall 2. Don't laugh at my keyboard and mouse skills with this game because I am still a complete noob when it comes to gaming on a keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm more comfortable using a console controller like the Xbox One controller, but that's besides the point. I've got the Logitech G430s here, and we're gonna be testing it out first, and then we're gonna test out the uh, SteelSeries Siberia 800. Oh my God, this dude. Oh. All right, so a grenade just killed me and that kind of helped me to realize that this doesn't really have a lot of base. So a first person shooter like this, high impact games, it's sounding like uh, you won't experience the crazy explosions and stuff like the way you'd want to. 
but I can still hear everything just fine. And you know, it still has 7.1 surround sound. Oh, yo, come on. Okay, so Logitech's get the job done. Uh, surround sound, I mean, I can hear everything going on around me. Uh, had no problem with my spatial awareness, so that's really good. Uh, one thing though, it feels like when I'm listening to these, it feels like I'm very far away from the action. Uh, let's try the Siberias and see how these fare. Now with the Siberias, we got no cable to deal with. Part of the bonuses of it being more expensive, I've got those features like wireless capabilities. Over here, we've got a transmitter where I can control things like the volume, uh, the source, if I'm having it plugged into multiple things, as well as like the equalizer settings, the Dolby settings. So I can go ahead and change a couple things to kind of tweak the experience. Whereas with these, what I get, what you hear is what you get, and that's about it. Uh, but let's try this on, see if I can hear an actual difference between the two of them. Oh, I can immediately tell a difference. Now, it's not a ton of bass, but there's something about this that feels like I'm not as far away from the action as I did with the uh, Logitechs. Yeah, this definitely feels like a way more full sound. I feel like I'm hearing more. I feel more in it. Now, is it worth $200 in terms of a difference? Honestly, I'm not too sure about that just yet. If someone's on a budget, would I tell them to save for this? From the sound experience alone, I'm not completely sold. While for 35 bucks, I don't think this is uh, bad, but when you're just comparing it to something that's like this, you really do hear the difference. Well, at least I do anyway. Might have to get Ari in on this to let me know if she can uh, hear anything different herself. Hey, beautiful. You wanna jump in on this? Okay. All right, got it. Okay, and I also want you to not show me which ones you put in my head or tell me so that would be biased. Okay. So, there's the first one. She's insisting on playing by herself. She's never even, she's barely good with a console controller, but she wants to use a mouse and keyboard. I'm just gonna jump down. Yeah, it sounds good to me. So, you like this? How about you play? Huh? How about you go play? I'm You're scared. Hiding, yeah. <laughs> they said my, my heart rate was going fast. I'm getting up in there. I got a kill though. I got a kill. Did you see that? Did you get a kill? I did. Good job. Alright, so I'm going to switch the headset now. Okay, I'm going to respawn. Yeah, he was like, remind me. All right, pause it. So, yeah. all right, so what are you, you hearing with this one? This one definitely sounds more dynamic. Like, like I could hear all the same things. Like, I hear, like, the little bullet sounds and everything, mm -hmm. but it just has, like, a richer, deeper sound. Yeah? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And well, it is a little bit more comfortable to me. This one's more comfortable? Yeah, is this, the, this is the more expensive one, obviously. This is the, you can, yeah. you can tell a difference right away, huh? Yeah, immediately. But, well, I was playing just fine. Like, With the first yeah, one? Yeah, I didn't have any complaints about like how the comfort felt until I felt this. And right, comparatively, right. I was like, oh, this is better. Do you think this is worth a $200 uh, upgrade? $200? Yeah, you think the difference is worth $200? No, no, definitely not. I mean, okay. My initial reaction is no, but if you're a heavy, hardcore gamer, and I care about all those different things, and like feeling like a rich sound, and, Yes, but if you're not, go for the cheaper ones. What are they, $35? $35, and this is two thirty-five. dollars Yeah. Amazon. Those 13 year olds, $35. There's no reason for 13 year olds to have these headphones. Now, we all know a big part of the gaming headsets is, of course, the mic, since you can party chat, talk to people that you're playing in games with. So, you got a built in mic over here. This one actually has noise canceling, so it's supposed to cancel all the noise from the outside. So, if you're in a party chat, this is the kind of audio quality you can expect from it. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the Siberia 800s and see if this has a drastically different uh, mic. Okay, so right now we're using the mic from the Steel Series. So, just as with the Logitech, this is the kind of quality you can expect here. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and see what the difference is. I'm going to listen to it and give you guys some feedback on how different I think they are and if this is worth, if you're looking for a good mic, if it's worth to pay a higher price tag compared to something that 
you find on a lower end gaming headset. And those are the differences that I found between the two headsets. Now I played back the mic audio from both headsets and it was kind of weird. The Logitech seemed to cut out here and there, uh, but I think that it did sound clearer uh, when it wasn't cutting out. I like the way my voice came through on the mic, but I'm just not sure why it was cutting out. Not sure if mine is defective, but I looked around and I didn't really see anybody complaining about it. So maybe my unit, but you guys heard it for yourselves. In terms of straight up comparing them, I feel like the difference between them is definitely noticeable. I noticed it, Ari noticed it, but I think what matters is who actually cares about hearing that difference. Anyone going from a Logitech to the Steel Series, or you know, a cheaper headset to something more expensive, you're gonna hear that difference and you're gonna enjoy it more. But at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself if it's worth the $200. I think someone looking for just a straight up gaming headset will be fine with either one. I think it all depends on how hardcore of a gamer you are. And I was pretty surprised by how well the Logitech stood up against the Steel Series, considering that they were $200 less. And while they didn't sound as good in comparison, they still sound pretty good on their own but they could use a bit more bass. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.